Hey everyone, welcome back. I know we've taken a break for a while. I uh, went out of town. All that good stuff and fun is done. We're back to the grind on these. Got a lot of questions over the last two weeks of the FPC and sound devices. Muzzle devices more so. Should they get a brake or should they get a sound forwarder? Let's take a look at the sounds of both of them to help you make a decision before you go out and buy something that you really don't want. Um, Deer Creek Arms makes a sound mitigation device in 9mm. Uh, it's $105, but it actually softens the sound or throws it forward quite a bit. I mean, it's, it's a big difference. Go look at my AR1 that I have it and you'll see the difference. But here's the 9, the FPC, with the muzzle brake. It's the Strike Industries Mini Comp. We're gonna run six rounds with just a break. Here we go. That was six rounds with a break. And here goes six rounds with a Caw Valley sound forwarder. You guys know the brake throws it out through the sides. This one will throw it through the top forward. And here we go. Six rounds. To me, from where I'm standing behind the gun, there is a big difference. Uh, the sound forwarder keeps it away from the shooter and throws it more to the target. Where the brake will throw it to the sideways shooters. The guy and gal shooting next to you so you can annoy the hell out of them. So you pick what you want. I like the brakes personally, uh, especially if you're outside of the brakes are not so bad, but if you're indoor shooting, these Caw Valley sound forwarders usually do a little better so you're not annoying yourself or other people. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys use. You guys take care out there.